judicial dueling manuals detail the use of sword and spear together. And this picture above is a perfect example of the two main ways you see it used. The fighter on the left has his sword and spear clamped together. This way he can fight pretty much unencumbered by the sword until such time that his spear becomes undesirable and he can just drop it and continue with the shorter, closer weapon. The fighter on the right is demonstrating a throw, but also the other kind of archetype of using the sword and spear together. He's keeping it in reserve in his offhand, and he's winding up for that throw to chuck the spear, but he can also fence from there by laying his spear across the cross of his sword, and he can kind of like pool cue thrust with this spear. It's not going to be as stable, but you can still fence from here, and then you can also just chuck the spear and switch to your sword.